Welcome everybody to Icarus. I'm an old guy gaming and we are going to pick up uh, pretty much where we left off the next day. It's actually 9.23 in the morning. Uh, the reason I'm getting a later start is because um, we had a storm that came up right when it started getting light. So I waited out the storm and then I actually had my computer actually um, crashed because I was doing some editing and some other stuff and Windows just did stupid stuff on us, and so, yeah, we're getting kind of a late start here, but that's okay. We should be fine. All right, let's get out of this cave before pneumonia hits us again, and uh, we are going to continue trying to level here and um, advance in the game so we can start. What we need to do, basically, is we need to get to level 10 so that we can you know, make a, a crafting bench and, you know, start getting into some of the better equipment that uh, that's available to us. So we are currently at level six. We have one tech point here, which I think I'm going to put into, what are we going to put this into actually? We could put it into the oxidizer. Oh no, we were going to do the antibiotic paste. Yeah, I think we should do that. Um, and we need to find some yeast, which I think there's some right up here. In order to make that, I have everything else I need to make that except for the yeast. I did go out just for a very brief moment uh, overnight and got some silica and some oxide because we're really low on oxygen. And then the rest of the time, I just kind of worked on editing a video while I waited for morning. That's a bear. That is a bear. Now, what we can probably do with Mr. Bear is, uh, where, okay, where's he at? If we can lead him to our door, how many arrows do I have? Inventory, I have 22. Yeah, we could probably kill him at our front door because he's not gonna be able to get through there. I'd like to get a sneak shot off on him too because that'll give us some extra damage. Here, let's turn this off. Where is he at? Uh, that's a buffalo. And that's a pig. A pig would be good. We could get some bacon. Alright. Um. Okay, that's a bear. But he sounds like he's off a little further that way. So maybe he was moving away from us. So let's go through here. And we need to find some yeast so we can make the antibiotic paste. That won't prevent us from getting pneumonia, but it'll cut the duration in half. Because when you get it, you get it for like 600 seconds, so it'll cut in half to 300. And later on, we'll be able to make more powerful stuff that will... Is that the pig there? Oh no, that's a jaguar. Yeah, let's not mess with him, because he can come through our door. Okay, here's some yeast up here, good. All right, let's stay sneaky sneak here. That bear's not that far away. I'm gonna turn my light off. Let's grab some of this yeast here. If we can get another bear kill in. Oh, there's the pig. Okay, let's kill the pig. That was not a good shot. Just lost a buff there. Uh, we need some bones anyways to repair our kniffy. Alright, come here pig, where are you? Want to get a sneak shot off on him if we can. There he is. Oh, what is that? I saw something else moving right there. I couldn't get, I didn't get a good look at what it was though. All right, um, the boar is down by our cave. Look at that. Oh, there's another boar. There's two boars. 
Okay, so by killing this boar, we'll probably call the other one in to investigate. And hopefully we can kill him too. Let's just wait here for a second. And stay sneaky sneak. I think that's him right there. He might be a little far away to notice the corpse. No, he shouldn't be. Well, here, let's just do a Hail Mary here. Right in the butt. Take a bandage. And we're good to go there. Alright, we'll skin this guy and we'll skin his buddy. And we'll be able to make some bacon. And we'll have some bacon for breakfast. And some more bones to... Ooh. Shoot. Alright, I think this... If this Jaguar comes in here, we are dead. Oh, he's coming in here. Luck out and get him. Oh, we lucked out so much. Okay. We are hurt. But we're not dead. Okay, let's take a bandage. Let's back in here a little more, too. I hear something else outside, so let's get the bones off this guy. Whew. Okay, here. Get in. There we go. All right, let's get some uh, bacon cooking and that going. And if we grab this charcoal and silica, we should be able to make ourselves a antibiotic paste. Let's even make like two of those. All right, good. Let's eat some bacon. Come on, bacon. And that gave us a little bit of health back and will help us get back on our way to health. We'll repair these two. And all of this here. Okay. We're not doing too bad. Again, I'm... I'm. Uh, we're doing better than I thought we were going. <laughs> I know I've already said that, but we, we really are. I was expecting this to be a death fest, um, but we're not doing terrible. Okay, let's head on back out here. We'd have to be careful, though, because we're not at really good high health. That's another pig. Wait, is that a pig? What is that up there? Is that a jaguar or a pig? I cannot tell from here. I think it's a jag. All right, we don't want to get his attention until our health is all the way back. So let's just leave him to his own devices. And what I want to do now is I want to get some stone. So let's go back into the cave for a second. And I'm going to just store that in there. Let's put that wood in there too. And the charcoal because that's heavy. And the yeast. That can go down there. Okay, I want to make a big fire pit. Um, for the Mainly for the purpose of storage. So we need another 52 stone. Looks like there's two jaguars over there now. Bird? You're freaking me out. Okay, let's get some stone. Oh, we have talent points, too, and tech points and all that. All right, so let's go to talents, combat, um, maximum arrow damage there. Looks like we have one solo talent. Let's put that into health regeneration. Okay, we'll go to the tech tree. Cooling bandage, heat bandage, and a parasitic oxidizer. We could get the oxidizer... The drying rack or the bone sickle. All of those are going to be useful. We're going to want a wood hammer too. 
we have two points. How about we do... This will help us fill our oxygen better. Let's grab that and let's grab the bone sucker. We don't strictly need the drying rack at this point. Um, because, you know, we can get meat other ways. However, the drying rack is useful. Because we can dry meat like, you know, make jerky, but we can also make leather too. Okay, we need a hundred stone to make a fire pit. Stealth kill. Beautiful. I could call those jags over here, so let's be careful. They're all just derping out on the cliff over there. Okay, it doesn't seem to attract their attention, so I think we're good. Let's go back in here for a second and grab some more bacon out of the thingy. And right now it's just cooking wood. Okay, so we're going to we're going to let this just keep burning for now because it's generating charcoal for us, which we do need for other things. Plus, it provides a tiny little bit of light in there. All right, so we need 20 more stone to make our fire pit. Let's do it. Okay, let's make the fire pit. Go to crafting, fire pit. Oh, we need some wood too. Right, let's just cut a tree down here. I don't think we have anything seriously dangerous or nasty in the immediate vicinity. Wait, what? Repair. Let's cut this tree down here. Hey, we got a level, nice. Craft the fire pit while we keep cutting this tree up. Alright, let's go back into the cave. We'll set our fire pit down. And we will set it right here. Turn it this way. There we go. Okay. I'm going to take everything out of here. Uh, except for the wood. Pick this up. Put some wood in here. Activate. Put some meat in there. And we're basically going to put all of this stuff in here. Or as, most, as much of it as we can store anyway. I want to keep some fiber, some sticks, uh, a little bit of leather. And that stuff can all go in there. Okay, let's pick these guys up. We don't need the campfire. Let's just, just destroy that now. Give us a few more resources back. Okay, I think that's good. Now, let's make a bone sickle. Because that will help us gather things like fiber and fruit and all that better. Uh, we want to make an oxidizer now. That's one of the things we just learned. Okay, and we will put that right here. Okay, now what we have to do is we have to fill this up with oxide. Uh, let's see if we can grab some real quick before the storm gets super bad. Just gotta find some. Here's some over here. Press E to add oxide. Good. Okay, so that bladder then fills with air and we can use that to refill our suit's air. In the meantime, let's put the rest of this in here for now. 
we are getting a little bit on the thirsty side. Let's run down to the water here. We might have, yeah, we're going to have more worms to fight. Right, let's see, let that one shoot at the stalagmite. Pretty soon we'll be able to one-shot these guys. Just got to get a little bit better equipment. This sucker. Right. Oh, no, he didn't miss. We actually got poison, but it's just one one application, so it's not a big deal. Okay, let's go ahead and drink. Good. We did not get a parasite. That's always a good thing. Get our arrows back from these guys. Um, we might as well kill him for the XP, I suppose. Ooh. Okay, he missed us. Okay, that takes care of that. Now, we, we are going to start mining this this ore fairly soon here. But, um, we don't quite... We can't really do anything with it until we get to level 10, though, is the thing. Uh, because we can't make the smelter until then. Okay, so this is completely full, so if we just press it, it completely fills up our O2, and... It still has more in it. So, yeah, that works out pretty good. Okay, let's wait for the storm to finish, and when it's done, we will go do more stuff. Actually, we have some points to deal with, so let's do that next. Uh, we're going to take some berries, some meat, and some bacon there. And you're just now generating charcoal for us. Okay, looking good. Uh, all right, tech tree. I were probably at the point where I think we're going to not put a whole lot more points into stuff. We, I guess we do need a wood hammer. Uh, um, we don't need this right now, though. So I think we're going to wait a little bit. So we're going to just sit on our on our blueprint points until we hit level 10. Uh, but talent points, we still want to keep applying for sure. All right, what we're going to do for talent points now is we've got 20% damage to bows with these two. I want to go, uh, I want to apply arrow speed and arrow accuracy next. So we have to unlock that with the quick load first, and then we'll go down into there. It does not look like we have any solo points this time around. Okay, the storm is abating, so we are good to go out and about and keep leveling. That's our number one priority right now is to keep leveling. Can I make another torch? I sure can. Okay, because the one we have is about ready to go kaput, so we'll make another torch. Um, we're doing good on bandages and suture kits. Uh, let's just get rid of this crap. We can't do anything with it right now anyway. That's all from the cave worms. And we don't need the antibiotic paste outside of the cave. So let's just store what we have in here. Okay, let's go. So yeah, we just need to basically kill stuff and level. Do a little more mining maybe if we need to. You get a lot more points for killing predators than you do for killing passive critters. We can lure 
a bear and a, or a jaguar or something like that into the lake and kill him that way. That'll get us some points. Otherwise, let's just kind of go around and start gathering resources and seeing what happens here. Where are we at, by the way? Okay, let's kind of move more down towards the water. Okay, there's two jags there. There's three jags down there. Goodness gracious. Uh, oh, look at that. There's quite a bit more um, yeast here. If we use the sickle, we'll get a higher yield than just picking it by hand. Let's grab some of this because we're going to need it later on for other things. Okay. That gave us 98 yeast. Look at that. Okay, that's plenty for now. Now, if we can... If we can lure those jaguars into the water without getting et by a croc... We can probably get ourselves some XP from doing that. Let's just take a look-see around here. All right, I don't see any crocs out there. We need to repair this. Keep everything nice and repaired. Okay, earlier, okay, there is a croc way out there, but he's pretty far away. So this general vicinity of the water, I think, is relatively safe for us to to kill some critters in. Uh, so let's go see if we can lure these jags that are stuck on the cliff over into the water. Attention to one. Is he coming after us? I wonder if he's still stuck. Level 10 is going to be a big game changer for us because it's going to really open up some stuff that we need. So that's our highest priority right now is to get to level 10. All right, where's that jag at? Okay, let's get into stealth mode. He's right there. There's three of them. There's four of them. There's one down there, too. Alright, we got one down. Hey, if you guys are stuck, man, that's fine with me. Quit eating your brother. That's gross. are showing up too. Ah oh, crap, we're out of arrows. Okay, um... Oh! That's a baby, baby Moa. Can we get this other jaguar? Now, okay, now the Jaguars are fighting the Moas. Oh, hey, dude! What the hell, man? Did you do anything to you? Uh, where'd he go? Oh, it's right here. Okay. Okay, what we're going to do is we're going to make some more bone arrows. Where are you at? Here we go. Max, crap. 15. Okay. 
Now, we could actually tell this baby Moa to follow us to try and tame it, but I'm, I'm just not set up for that yet. So we're going to leave him to his fate, which is probably not going to be so good for him. Shots to really maximize the damage here. Okay, we got another one. They look like they're fighting each other. Okay, he's down. We got them all. Everybody cool? Except for that poor baby. Oh, here comes a Komodo. He wants in on the action. We can't let him though. Yeah, whatever. Get out of here. Oh crap, we're out of arrows. That's not good. Uh, let's just draw him away then. And then we'll come back and circle back and get the arrows and the giblets off the jags. Hopefully there's no bears over here. Okay, what we're gonna do is we're gonna come up around here and then drop down the cliff. <laughs> you need to be careful that the moto's still around. Rant. Oh, don't bite me. <coughs> Yowzers. We do not want him to bite us. Oh, and the knife's broken. intense. Alright, let's get these repaired. And then see if we can go get the rest of these butchered before more predators show up. Man, what a fiasco. gatherer. Got seven arrows back out of that one. And four arrows from him. Okay, that went pretty well. We are level eight. Now, let's take all this meat back to the cave and get it cooking and we'll we have some more talent points to do. Okay, sort by weight. Grab those out of there, put those in there so they can cook. We're going to have to take something else out too, so we'll take the leather out so there's room for the cooked meat. Uh, we don't need more than a hundred yeast, so we'll get rid of those. Okay. Let's uh, replenish our berries and our meat and our bacon. Now, talents. Take a look at that. We have a solo talent. Let's put that into bounce back, 20% health regeneration. And for normal talents, we are going to put uh, points into swift flight. Very good. Okay. Uh, we need to refill our oxide thingamadoodle. Um, so let's do that while we're waiting for that to fill up. And then we'll go out and do it again. 
Man, how did it get to be nighttime already again? We just started. <laughs> how does that happen? Oh, for goodness sakes. Okay, um, I came out here to, what did I come out here to do? Oh, oxide, yeah. Get some oxide. Here's some right here. We'll grab some off the ground and some right here. Now, what I'm going to do overnight is I'm going to make a second fire pit. And then I'm going to start mining up the iron, which will get us a lot of XP. And hopefully by the morning we will be level 10 and then we can uh, advance to tier 2. Which, as I mentioned, is going to really open up some important stuff for us at that point. Alright, so let's go back to the cave here. We just lost uh, that torch. We have another one here. Actually, you know what? No, I'm not going to go back to the cave yet. I'm going to mine up the stone that we need for the next fire pit. There's a boar. Let's see if we can kill him and get some more bacon. Got a nice crit on him. Excellent. Excellent, man. More bacon for us. And we got a level. Nice. Okay, let's put this bacon on the fire. We're going to pull that out. Throw that in. And pull that out for now. Let's fill this back up. Put the remainder of the oxide in this slot. You can go down there. Okay, let's uh, let's keep working on getting the stone we need for a second fire pit. Okay, we need a little more wood. Cut this tree down here. There's a bear over there. Might just be a buffalo, I don't know. Okay, let's go back to the cave. Let's make this fire pit. Grab the bacon out of here and put this meat in there. Let's also top this off with some wood. And we'll put the second fire pit, uh, I guess, right here next to the oxidizer thingy. And that we're going to fill with ore. All right. So, let's see here. I think what we're going to do, guys, is we're going to wrap up this episode here. Uh, so what I'm going to do is go into the cave with my stone pickaxe. And I'm going to start mining the iron ore, um, which is this stuff here. I'll probably leave the copper for now. Um, and that will most likely get us to level... We're already uh, through level 9. In fact, we have more talents to spend. Uh, let's just keep pumping that. Well, accuracy, speed. Accuracy, speed. Let's... 
Uh, let's put a point in accuracy, but I'm going to max both of those out eventually. And we're sitting on our blueprint points until we hit level 10, because there's going to be many, many things we're going to want at level 10. So yeah, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to start mining the iron ore and filling up the the second fire pit we just put down and we will hit level 10 and then I will bring you back when we get to level 10 and start the next episode at that point and we will move up in the world big time all right so guys I hope you enjoyed this episode if you did please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel leave a comment and share the video and we'll catch you in the next episode bye bye